there, it's Love at the Toy Temple, and today I'm taking a look at the infamous Iron Man from the Marvel Legends series. And this is, by the way, Doctor Doom wearing an Iron Man suit. Unbelievable. So cool. First Doctor Doom I actually get to review. So, he comes with a hundred accessories. Look at all those. Man, they dolled him up. Did him real justice here. On the side, you've got some Doom, you know, magic, technology, goodness. Uh, infamous Iron Man, once one of the world's most evil villains, Victor Von Doom has a change of allegiance and assumes a new identity as the tech-powered hero, Iron Man. What a cool idea. Iron Man and Doctor Doom combined into one unit. Man, does do comics get any better than this when a villain becomes a hero? I mean, look at Superior Spider-Man. Uh, I don't know. Is that... Are, there, are these literally the two examples? I don't know. I guess Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, you know, heroes become, or villains becoming heroes. But without further ado, let's crack open Infamous Iron Man, take a look at those accessories and the figure itself, and I hope you'll join me. And here is Infamous Iron Man, Doctor Doom out of the package, and oh man, does he look cool. I love the blast effects, I love the magic. Sure, he's a repainted Iron Man from, I think, the Okoye wave, but, you know, they really did a good job on it. The silver looks good. The green touch-ups look great. The cape, uh, a little lacking. Won't exactly strap on, but, you know, it's okay. The green on the chest looks good. The uh, little green magic arc reactors look awesome. And the magic just spurting out of his arms looks amazing. Not much to look at on the back, but the figure is so cool. It'll fit right in on the Fantastic Four Cosmic Shelf. He's double jointed elbows, knees. He, does he have pivot? Oh yeah, he does. He also has ab crunch, which if you, yeah, that's an issue. He does, he does have that in case you want him to you know, fly around. He is a flying being. So if you want him to fly around, maybe put a, put a leg up. I'm shooting at Reed Richards or something. You sure can. Yeah, the cape, unfortunately, doesn't peg on. So it's going to fall off if you even slightly look at him the wrong way. I mean, together it looks fine, but yeah, it's not, it's not especially on there. But, you know, I can forgive some stuff. It's so cool to finally have a Doctor Doom action figure. Finally, after all the years I've been doing this show, I finally get to review a Doctor Doom. Now... If only they could re-release a Doctor Doom classic version. Now, hey, listen. are you serious? They're actually doing that? What? Ooh, I'm so excited to review that one. Thank you, Toy Fair. Man, this figure though, really awesome. Super psyched on it. Speaking of psych, let's use him as a size comparison just to give you an idea of where I'm coming from. Why not Reed Richards? Because it's my show. I get to decide. This is who I had available. And yeah, he fits the scale very well. Got some Marvel versus Doctor Doom action. One of my favorites. So yeah, very, very good. Likeness from the comics, dead on. Let's take a look at those accessories real quick and I'll come back with a final score. So accessory wise, you've got a cape, which is fine. You know, it's a little... Uh, it's fine. It just clips onto the neck. It's green plastic. It's, you know, whatever. These, though, these are some great looking uh, effects. The blaster boost, you can either put them on the peg holes on the underneath of the boot, or you can put them in the palm of the hand. And they do fit. We'll just get a quick preview of the hands here, and bam, look at that. Instant blast effect. The, they came out a little bent from the package, but I don't know. Adds character. Especially, I mean, no blast effect ever comes out perfectly straight. So, you know, I'm sure Doom would want that. I mean, he's a perfectionist, but these, the lightning effects, I like the pink, by the way. The translucent pink looks really good, unique, and fits the character. Just definitely offsets that green, which he has plenty of. Unmasked Victor Von Doom face, I like it. I mean... I'm not ever going, going to display him as this, so there's really no point in having it. But the more accessories, the better, I say. And then you've got the extra hands. One punch and power, and one blast you with special technology magic. And they look good. 
No hinge on this one. Uh, hinge on this one though. And the hinge is ugh, super tight. A little bit of dollop of white and green to give it that little arc reactor look. And they look great. I really like them. Unfortunately for Doom, his head is attached to this cloak. So you can't just have a regular Iron Man. It's on there and there's no way it's coming off. It's glued on. I've seen other people try to remove it. It's not gonna work. So for Dr. Doom, what kind of score does he deserve? Well, for Doom, it'd have to be a five, but it's not his show. This show is not based in Latveria. So for this, I'm gonna give it a 4.5 out of five. It's really good, really great, but it is a reused mold. It does come with plenty of accessories. However, that cape and the fact that that hood does not come apart from the head, really distracting. I wish it was all just one piece and it could just pop on and off, but they want it like this, so that's how it is. But yeah, I really dig it. You can maybe find it at your local Walgreens. It took me a while to find it, uh, but I'm so happy to finally have it. It's here. I have a Dr. Doom in the collection. Wow, I'm so happy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Take a look at our Instagram and Twitter, both at the Toy Temple. Hit like, share, subscribe. You know, if you leave a comment down below, just anything, anything, anything you want to say, I'll do with a heart. I'll favorite it. I don't care. You could say the show is bad because it is not really. It's a fine show. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love.